to another episode of Simi Sailor. Today on the show, we're going to make a strawberry pretzel, a uh, strawberry pretzel dessert. You've seen it everywhere. I've been, I've had this pen for about a few years, so I've been dying to make this. So we're going to do it now. It's good when you have fresh strawberries too. So this is going to be our filling layer. <clears throat> Is sugar, vanilla extract, Cool Whip, and cream cheese. Now we're just gonna beat it. Beat it all together. I don't know if you can see anything. We got our crust. It, it's pretzels and butter and stuff like that. Um, you need to crush up your pretzels and put butter on and then bake it for 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And then you got to let that cool completely because when you put this on, if it's hot, it'll melt that. Get all my feeling. Get me a spatula, Betty. Well, I'm still a couple spatulas. Now I'm doing mine with strawberry, but you could do this with blueberries and blueberry jello. Or how about peaches and peach jello? You could really or cherries, that'd be awesome. part is letting this chill in the fridge because you want to dive into it but you gotta let it sit because it's got the jello stuff in it and part of my jello is already sitting my jello stuff's already sitting in the fridge to get chilled all right it's all right if you pull up some of your pretzels too just kind of push this mixture out the best as you can blackberry jello and blackberries would be really good too and then you could do actually do your strawberry jello or cherry and do blueberries and strawberries or raspberry like a red white and blue because you would have the white mixture which is the middle part your blueberries and raspberries on top uh, top or strawberries whatever you're doing okay now we're going to get our strawberry stuff It is just one big box to large box of strawberry jello, two cups of boiling water, mix, mix, mix till all your um, jello is dissolved. I'm using fresh strawberries, so that's two big containers sliced up. 
almost three. Depends on how big your strawberries is. Or you can use frozen and you throw them out a little bit. So, um, it said to chill this for about an hour. It's almost, no, but almost been an hour. It's not going to get set set yet. Now we're going to slowly pour over the goodness of this. And then kind of nestle out our strawberries. It's okay if you get whipped topping because it's on this spatula. bury them in that and it's going to set we're going to put this back in the refrigerator for at least a few hours to um, gel up you can even do this overnight so I'm going to cover this um, with the lid to the pan here and chill it and we'll be back when I get ready to slice it